In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four hanging options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it comes the first option. You can see here you can add some icon, title, detail, text, and I've added the option number at the bottom. When I click with a different color combination comes the second option, the third option, and the fourth option. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes, select the rounded rectangle, draw the rounded rectangle and you can see the small orange point just drag this inside so it becomes curved then shape outline i'm going to give some gray color and shape fill make it no fill and the shape outline you can increase the outline here you can go to weight and you can increase this one again depending on the requirement you can adjust the height and width to it so once this is done you can give some shadow effects also for that go to the shape formax shadow and select the offset bottom once this is done let me just go and insert the rectangle here draw a rectangle corner at the left corner and maybe this much size again depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease the size shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to right mouse, right mouse click go to the format shape and select the gradient color here you can choose any colors i'm going to choose two different colors here one for example i'm going to choose one say a light blue color and i'm going to choose a dark blue color here and the direction i'm going to make that dark at the bottom or again it's depending on the requirement how you want so let me just put the dark at the top and you can adjust also once this is done i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and reduce the size you can see here just reduce the size here something like this and put it exactly on top of this one a little bit on top of that on the line you can see here something like this. it looks something like this so once this is done you can add, just add one more line also here from one end to the other end by holding the shift key so that you can get a perfect straight line and the shape outline you can make it white and you can increase the width also so go to the weight and just increase the size and then you can give a gradient fill for the line as well so i can just choose the gradient fill and i can just choose two line i mean two colors so one is i'm going to use some light color maybe a light gray and here i'm going to choose a dark blue color which we have selected and the direction i'm going to make the the dark one now let me just add one oval shape so go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key and make sure that it is properly aligned in the center and half should be on the rectangle and half should be out then go to the insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle at the bottom and I'm going to select this one, the oval shape, hold the shift key, select this rectangle, go to the merge shape and subtract. Shape outline, I'm going to make it no outline and shape fill, I'm going to fill this with white and you can give some shadow effect. So I'm going to choose the offset top. If you want, you can increase the size by holding the shift key also. So once this is done, you can go to the insert, click on the icons and choose any icon depending on the requirement so in this case i'm just going to choose some random icon so I'm, let me just choose this one click insert shape fill i'm going to make this white and put it exactly again in the center go to the insert text box i'm going to add the title here center align you can make it bold make it white and put it this in the center go to insert text box equals l-o-r-e-m within brackets one some latin text i got so i'm going to delete the long text make it shorter 
again white font center align reduce the font size and align it properly you can see here and here i'm just going to insert text box i'm going to put this as option 01 again center align make it bold increase the size if you want you can give some uh, different color blue color so let me just put it exactly in the center and then i'm going to choose all of these object the rectangles press ctrl g to group it then hold the ctrl shift key just drag it so this is my second option i'm going to choose both then hold the ctrl shift key and add it here you can see here i've got four options created now it's easy for me i can just go and change this to two this is three and this is four to change the icon you don't need to delete it just select the icon go to the graphic format change graphic from icons i'm going to choose any icon again depending on my requirement let me just choose maybe this one and click insert so you can see here the same color the same size icon got changed the let me just show you again select the icon go to the graphic format change graphic from icon and i'm going to choose any icon again depending on my requirement so this is change as well so let me just do quickly the other as well the last one so i'm going to choose maybe an apple and click insert so it got change now the similarly how we have changed the icons we can just change the color also i can just select this one and i'm going to choose a light color maybe a light green and here i'm going to choose some dark green and here also the same thing i'm going to choose the dark green and the light green here all right so now i can just choose maybe a purple somewhat dark you can see here dark purple and here you can go to the more colors and you can just choose any light purple here you can see here the dark and the light color and same thing i'm going to do it here as well or i can just copy this one and format painter but that sometimes because we have group it will not work so let me just put it the light color and the dark color here you can see here how we have done it easily so once this is done what we need to do is we need to just ungroup this select all and press ctrl shift g to ungroup so here only this part only i'm going to group it you can see the line and the top part press ctrl g only this has I have been grouped and then select the bottom only and press ctrl g to group it and send this to back why i'm doing this one is to do our animation otherwise our animation will not work properly so i'm going to select this press ctrl g and then i'm going to select all of this and press ctrl g and send this to back all right so similarly you can do for the remaining as well so let me just go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this first one add animation more entrance effects i'm going to choose which is the stretch click ok stretch should come from bottom you can see here it works something like this and for this also i'm going to use the same stretch or i can just copy the animation also i can select this one go to the animation painter and click it here so instead of bottom i need to do this one from top and this should happen after previous so if i play you can see here it works something like this now it's easy for me i can just select this one click the animation painter select the second one now select this animation painter and this that's it so if you see here if i play it comes something like this so similarly you can just do for the option number three and four